The Little Rock police officer injured after shooting and killing the driver of the car you see here in this video from 2017 faces a lawsuit tonight along with the city and a local business. KRK Force Price McKeon joins us live in studio with that federal filing that was made today. Break it down for us, Price. Well, Ashley, more than a year and a half ago, an off-duty Little Rock police officer shot and killed James Hartsfield. The Pulaski County prosecutor cleared her of any criminal wrongdoing. Today, on his 30th birthday, his family chose to file a civil rights lawsuit against the officer, the C, and a local bar where she was working off-duty at the time of the shooting. <laughs> and I just miss my brother. With support from their family and friends, the sisters of James Hartsfield, who was shot and killed by an off-duty Little Rock police officer back in 2017, addressed the media Monday. I pray you're watching over me. Their attorney, Michael Lowe, starts the news conference less than an hour after filing for them a federal civil rights lawsuit against the city of Little Rock, LRPD officer Brittany Gunn, and the bar of the local union, where the off-duty officer was working security at the time of the shooting. His death on October the 7th, 2017, was entirely predictable and entirely avoidable. We reported the Pulaski County prosecutor cleared Officer Gunn of any criminal wrongdoing back in 2018 when these dash cam videos were released of the shooting that ended with the officer being injured after Hartsfield crashed his car onto University Avenue. He's just arrived at a bar. He's looking for his lift passenger. We reported that investigators said the off-duty officer asked Hartsfield to get out of the car after spotting him behind the wheel drinking. From what I've heard from people who know James, he didn't drink. Um, so that's a kind of a question mark right out of the gate. Lowe shows examples of what he says shows LRPD failing to train officers on how to properly conduct traffic stops. <laughs> and then one now we get to see him again. <laughs> We reached out to the city and the police department and spokespersons with both told me they do not make comments on pending litigation. We also reached out to local union and we have not received a call back. Now we 